Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can quickly and easily import new smart hair from Character Creator into Unreal Engine. Starting off in Character Creator, and then go up to Export as an FBX from the File menu. Since we're exporting to Unreal, we'll choose the Unreal Target Tool preset, and all the other settings can remain as they are, with the exception of one. We need to ensure that we go down at the bottom and enable the Bake Diffuse and Specular Maps from Digital Human Hair Shader. This will ensure that there is not a double shader effect when importing using the Auto Setup tool in Unreal. Please ensure that Auto Setup is installed prior to following this process as well. You can find Auto Setup for Unreal from the menu on the main Character Creator page, and there is a tutorial linked for how you can install it in the description of this video. Once everything is set up, the next step is to import the Character FBX file. We'll create a new folder for this character in our content browser first, and then simply click and drag in the FBX file from its containing folder. Make sure to use the HQ shader option here for best visual results. In the Import Options window, also make sure that you use T0 as reference pose, as well as Import Morph Targets, and then you're good to go. Once the hair is successfully imported in, you can head over to adjust the shader settings to your preference. Once we open the hair material, you can see all of the parameters that we can adjust. It's very important to have active hair color enabled here if you want to adjust the color. Once we do, we can adjust the root and end color of the hair using Unreal Engine's color picker. You can also adjust the alpha power value to get thicker or thinner strand results in certain areas of the hair as well. Each hairstyle will be different, so make sure to adjust this to your own preference. You can also adjust various other values like specular strength and multiplier here to get more sheen on the hair as well. The new smart hair allows you to adjust the eyebrows in the same way that we just adjusted the hair. You can adjust the color of the eyebrows just like before once you open up the material parameters. You'll notice a more pronounced effect when you adjust the alpha strength here. Again, there's no one size fits all value here, so it's a good idea to mess around a bit and find the result that suits you best. Keep in mind that a value that is too high will cause the eyebrows to disappear entirely upon camera zoom out. That's really all there is to it. Simple is good, and we hope that the huge number of smart hairstyle and customization options will be useful in your future projects. I'll see you guys in the next video.